welcome back to my channel. My name is Janet and I have lost over 100 pounds following the ketogenic lifestyle. I share a variety of things on my channel so I, ho I hope you will enjoy the content that I have to offer and make sure that you're hitting that subscribe button. We would love to have you join the family and to all my returning subscribers, welcome back to my channel. All right, today is going to be kind of like a mixture of everything. I'm just gonna do a little bit of a vlog, but I started drinking um, my monster drink. I wanted to share this with you in case you have it in your area. I love monsters and bang are the usually the go-to for energy drinks. I don't have them very often. It's usually if I don't feel like coffee, I know, I know. Sometimes now that it's getting warmer out though, I don't feel like hot coffee. Like today here in Southern Alberta, it's supposed to be plus 21 degrees Celsius. It is amazing. There is no snow. Hopefully we are on our way to spring, but it is getting so nice out that I just don't feel like hot coffee. I think soon I'm gonna have to start making my iced coffees, but I got this flavor. A friend actually got me hooked on to it. It is a monster zero sugar drink and it is called Ultra Fiesta Mango. So it is mango flavored and it is delicious. It is my new favorite flavor. Just wanted to share that with you in case it, you can find it in your area. It is brand new. Literally just came out last week. Finally been able to find them and they are so, so good. So I wanted to mention that. Also, um, also, wanted to mention that Equipped is having a sale. Now, I use the protein powder from Equipped. I've also received their unflavored collagen as well. And Jimmy has been using that in his orange juice. I know, I, it, I can't even imagine. But that's how he takes his collagen every day is in orange juice. I usually like to mix mine with coffee. You guys know I am a huge fan of collagen. But I also do use their protein powder. Now, Protein powder is really hard to find as far as a keto friendly protein powder, but definitely Equipped is my favorite. And although I don't use it very often, occasionally I will have just a plain old protein shake. And I will use this for my protein with some unsweet unsweetened coconut milk. Tastes delicious, especially if you add a little bit of ice cubes in it as well. Tastes really, really good. The the calories, the macros on their protein powder is absolutely amazing. Works out to be one net carb, two carbs, one dietary fiber, and very high in protein, which gives you 21 grams of protein in one scoop. So definitely um, I use Lutilize this, and they are having a sale right now on their website which is their spring sale. So save 20% when you spend over $100. If you do end up spending over $150, you also save 20%, plus you get one free Smart Sleep, which is their capsules that they have. I've never tried them, but I've heard they are amazing and they definitely do help you sleep with the ingredients that are included in that product. Um, and then if you do spend over $200, you will spend, you will save 25%. So definitely look into it. They have a pre-workout. Like I said, they have collagen. The protein powder is definitely my favorite though. So it will be in the description for you to check it out. You just need to click on the link and it'll automatically be discounted. All right, so my plan today is kind of just take you along with me for the day. Um, I do have a couple of appointments in town today. I wore my hair up because I am getting a hair trim today. I haven't gotten my hair cut. She actually looked it up for me. Um, she's a good friend of mine, actually, Tina. And the last time I went for a haircut is October, and I haven't gone since because I feel like since everything has happened in the last two years, Jimmy started dyeing my hair. He does a fantastic job. I get the products at Sally's. It, it literally is only like $15 to get my hair dye and to do it myself or for Jimmy to do it for me. And it has been amazing because that's the only thing that I would get done prior to is getting my hair dyed to my natural color to cover up the gray. Um, so I just don't go to the hair salon very often anymore. It's just only to get a trim. I try to keep up on it because now that I'm implementing collagen 
and it's really taken off for my hair. My hair has grown so much in the last year. So I usually just go to get a trim and continue, you know, to grow my hair out. I definitely don't want it to be really long. I'm kind of liking the length that it is now. Uh, but yeah, October, that is crazy. And today it is March 23rd. So I'm definitely due. So I'm getting that done today. And I'm also in the same salon is where I get my nails done. She is also a good friend of mine, um, Andy. Uh, uh, short for Andrea and I just love going to see them they are very very good friends of mine we have been friends for over six seven years I want to say and it always just makes my day whenever I go and visit them and we just chit chat and have have girl time right so I am going to be going to do that today as well as just doing a couple errands in town because as most of you know I do live 30 minutes outside of a city. I, I don't want to call it a major city because it's 60,000 people, um, which is big enough for me. I know probably to a lot of you watching live in a bigger center than me, uh, but it is definitely a good size for me. Um, so that is what I'm going to be doing today. So I kind of wanted to do a vlog, maybe show you what I eat in a day as well. And we will see where the day takes us. I am also going to be giving you an update on the bathroom. I'm so excited. I will also tell you the mishap that we have had um, later on in the video with our bathroom renovations. It, it, of course, of course it would happen to us or Jimmy in this case, you know, if Jimmy only has bad luck. <laughs> he only has bad luck, I swear, but I will get into that later on in the video once I get back home. But let's just see where the day takes us and join me today and keep me company while I go and do all of my errands today and also see what I eat on a day on keto. All right, it is the next day. I failed yesterday. I forgot my camera at home. I ended up getting my hair cut, um, so I just got a trim done. And it is so frizzy today though. I did work already today and I did get my nails done. So um, that was mainly really what I, I really had no objection for that video. I wanted to share with you what I ate in a day, but I also didn't do that. But I wanted to share with you um, once again, cause I, I haven't had them for a while to be honest. And I just got a shipment in once again and that is the carnivore crisps. I love these things. So this is the chicken skin. These are like definitely top three. And I also got the ribeye. And I also got the brisket as well too. Those are definitely my top three. Um, it is in the uh, description if you're interested and the code Janet Greta will save you 10%. Jimmy. Okay, now I'm going to show you the update on the bathroom downstairs as well, because that was another no. thing <clears throat> that I wanted to share with you guys in this video. Like, let me turn you around and I will show you all that he has done. We are making headway here. All right, so it is all drywalled. So everything is completely drywalled and all ready to go with paint, um, etc. What we plan on doing, that is just a little nook to put our shampoo and anything, just kind of a shelf. And here is going to be our tile. This is not glued to the drywall yet. Jimmy was just getting started on that. Um, but this is our tile and I absolutely love it. I think it is going to be, look so good. I'm, I cannot wait for that look to be all completely done. So story about the tile literally is just our luck. So we had bought tile. I had showed you, I think there was like four boxes that we bought of tile. And we had said that we were kind of doing it in increments as far as purchasing all the tile. And we went back this past weekend to go get the rest of the tile and they were all sold out. Not one piece of tile was in Home Depot. So we ended up having to order it and luckily it only took like three or four days. So we have received the rest of it. It is all in the spare room right now, which is just adjacent to this bathroom. And we will be doing that this weekend. So we want to get the, when I say we, I mean Jimmy. <laughs> we want to get the uh, tile all completely done this weekend. The only question that we have right now is if we are going to be, our plan is obviously this is the tub 
and the shower, we are going to tile all of that. And we plan on, which I would like to do, is I want to tile this whole wall behind the toilet, you know, behind the vanity. Like, I would really like to tile all of it and really have, like, all of this, this tile as, like, statement pieces. Um, or... Another option is just to have the tile above the toilet and then have behind the vanity, we will paint it. And I already plan on having like a light gray paint. Um, the same that I have upstairs actually in our kitchen. But let me know what you guys think. What do you guys like? Jimmy really wants to do above behind the toilet and obviously we will do like a little bit above the vanity for protection and that's his main reason why he likes doing that in bathrooms is for the protection behind the toilet and just heaven forbid if anything leaked water damage or anything at least the tile protects everything that we have behind the wall right um but let me know what you guys think. I don't know. Like, I've kind of been looking at pictures, and I do like the whole idea of the whole entire wall being tiled. But I'm still kind of on the fence. Let me show you the other bathroom, because I'm not sure if I have yet. But this is what we have going on, and this is what we have here in this bathroom. Like I said, we have the tile behind the toilet completely. And then we have a little bit that surrounds the vanity. And then we just have the mirror and then I painted behind the mirror. I want to get a little shelf here um, as well just so that you know the, the girls like their speakers and just to put extra stuff so I want to get a shelf for right there but let me know what you guys think. If we did it's either this option of doing the paint just behind the mirror this would all be tiled. We would still have a shelf and everything. Or do you think I should tile the whole entire wall? Let me know below. I'm not the best. I love decorating, but sometimes I just don't know like what to do. But this is the other bathroom. Jimmy did a really good job. It was a lot of work. It's a corner bathroom. And this bathroom was exactly the same as the other one. So this one had a tub in it and everything. And we decided to do a single shower so much work we wish we would have never done it that way and we wish we would have done a tub but it is what it is now and it is it looks fabulous i really like the outcome of this bathroom um so yeah now we just have to finish the other side so like i mentioned there is actually five bedrooms downstairs that's all that there is downstairs is just five bedrooms the laundry room and two full bathrooms um so all the bathrooms or all the bedrooms sorry are in really really good shape um i renovated or like not renovated but totally redid the guest room which is pretty much to my liking and same with all the other bedrooms the hallway needs work we need to get that finished drywall but it's coming along it's coming along i'm really happy with the progress and definitely really really excited for this bathroom to get some tile on it at least i'm not too worried like i said we already have a functioning bathroom down here but i'm i'm so excited about the progress all right so that is the bathroom update and like i said it's coming along and the tile was the one thing that kind of like was disappointing because we wanted to do all the tile um this past weekend well i shouldn't say all the tile but we wanted to get a start on it and that kind of put Jimmy back for a few days. So that's all right. Hey, Jimmy, you have something to do this weekend? Thank you, Jenna, for keeping me busy. <laughs> You're welcome. Anytime. <laughs> all right. So I think I'm just going to end this video here. I, I know it really wasn't anything important in this video, to be honest. I had different plans for where I wanted to take this video, but... I have a couple recipes in mind for next week videos, so make sure that you hit that notification bell so you don't miss any videos. So make sure you hit that red subscribe button and give this video a like to let me know that you're liking my content. And don't forget to hit that notification bell so YouTube can notify you when I upload a new video. Thanks for watching.